basics to glute intraocular lens. A caliper is set to 11 millimeters to measure the corneal diameter from white to white. Scleral flaps have to be created 180 degrees apart using a flap marker. Partial thickness scleral flaps are created 180 degrees apart. Infusion can be either behind the limbus or it can be in the anterior chamber. Beneath the scleral flaps, 0.75 mm behind the limbus, 22 gauge sclerotomies are created. This is not only for doing anterior vitrectomy but also for removing any residual lens matter left behind. Incision is fashioned. A three-piece intraocular lens is loaded into the injector and one haptic is brought out so that the tip is seen outside of the cartridge. Using the glue dial forceps which goes through the 22 gauge sclerotomy, we call it a lucky seven sign in which one haptic is coming out and the glue dial forceps holds on to the tip of the haptic and brings it out and leaves it on the sclera or this is on one haptic. The other haptic has to be externalized in the same way but we use a technique called handshake technique in which the haptic is passed from one hand to another. Once both the haptics are there, a 26 gauge needle is used to create intrascleral pockets which we call it Gabor Chariot's intrascleral tunnels. Into these tunnels, the haptics are tucked inside one after the other by flexing it, taking it back and then bringing it forward and tucked inside. The main port is not only a stromally hydrated, you can also put a suture there. The infusion cannula is removed using the fibrinogen thrombin combination. We call it a fibrin glue. Not only we glue the scleral flask, we glue the conjunctiva and also the ports which we have created, the main port and the side port.